this is a video to work on an extra practice page, page 12, for counting. This is going to really help have an extra tool. So you need that page, a pencil, and a number grid. You have one in the back of your book and I also gave you one to have spare. Okay? So, um, we are looking at 52. And you may be able to just say, oh, I know what comes before 52, or maybe not. Maybe you do and you just want to check a little bit. So we can use the number grid. Let's see how I can do this. So I've got the number grid behind it. Oh, there are the answers. So let's not do all the answers right away. I'm going to use a pencil like you in case I need to erase anything. Let's go ahead. Oh, let's only use it if we need help. All right, so now we're not going to really look at it. In fact, I'll take it away. And I saw that 51 comes before 52. And sometimes if you say them out loud, that helps move forward. 51, 52, oh, 53. You go ahead and finish the first row and then come back and check it with mine or check it with your number grid. All right, here we go. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And look, you could just check your number grid. You don't even need me. Let's see, is that all right? Yes, it ends with 60. Oh boy. Oh, and look, all these numbers end with one. Oh, you can't see on our number grid. All the columns end with one, so we know that, oh, and then all with two, then all with three. So that's another way to check to see if we got everything right. So you have several ways to check and see if you got this all right. So why don't you go ahead and pause, and then you can turn it back on, and I'll double check with you if you got it right. All right, so saying it out loud helps, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. And look at all these end with zero, all these end up. Oh, so we know we got them right. That's another way to know. What comes after 70? Something that ends with a one. That's right, 71. And I bet you can finish it on your own. I'm going to go on to the bottom. You can pause if you want to finish that. So, it says, fill in 10 of the missing numbers below. Trade papers with a partner, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to have you fill in the whole thing. So, once again, you can look at your number grid, but this number grid only goes to the bottom row is 111, and then you're on your own after that. But what did we just remember from the top? We have some clues. If we're filling in a number grid, all the, all the same column is all going to have ones in it. All the same column is going to have twos. I wouldn't have to even count. I just know 52, 62, 72. It's actually counting by tens. So let's go ahead and try this. You go ahead and try a few and pause and then we'll turn it on. I'm turn it back on to check. Here we go. We're going to count out loud. This is 111. 112. 113, 114, 115. So in case you weren't sure how to do it, that's how to do it. Why don't you pause one more time and you can fill in the rest of the row and then check. So here we go, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. And now we'll have that trick. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger for you. Well, oops, a little too big. We'll have that trick of being able to check the rows. Uh-oh, what comes after 120? Well, we know it's going to be 100 and something, right? 100 and something. And the, one, the something is going to be whatever number comes right after 20. What comes after 20? 21. Oh, yep, and we got our ones coming down the column. We know we're going to have a one in the beginning and a one in the end. Oh, and it's going to go from 111 to 121 to 131. They go in order, right? So that's another way to check. All right. 
So I'm going to let you finish this off, and I can't wait to see your finished worksheet. Good luck!